Hi and welcome to the how-to guide brought to you by NetAngel. In this episode we're going to talk you through the activity reporting available from Microsoft. Why is it important to have this activity and reporting? We want our children to embrace technology and technology is great whether we like it or not though it's part of our daily lives. As a parent or guardian, it is our responsibility to make sure that we look after our children's digital well-being. This could include a healthy time balance across all devices, appropriate filters in place to ensure your child is not exposed to anything not appropriate for their age, all apps and games are age appropriate, and to help with this, Microsoft provide this activity report, which is available to both you and your child. This has worked really well for me and my family. I've explained to my children why it's important to have the activity report. And as a parent, it gives me the resources and insight to see how much time they're spending on the different devices, what websites they're going to, and what sort of things they're searching for. It is really important that this is not used as a form of punishment or perceived as spying. As my kids get older, I'll give them more responsibility. I use this as a tool to sit down and have a conversation with them. Believe it or not, they don't actually realise how much time they do spend on the different games or on their devices. And sometimes it can actually be quite a surprise to them as well. Using your desired internet browser, type account.microsoft.com forward slash family. Select already set up, sign in now. You are now required to enter the username that you set your Microsoft account up with. Now enter your account password and select sign in. So in this example, we're going to use Isaac. So go ahead and click on activity. Under the apps and games header, you are presented with the top five list. This is the top five apps and games that have had the most activity. You can expand this by clicking on show all. By clicking on the arrow to the left of each app, it will provide you more insight to the devices that they're actually using. So as you can see, Microsoft Edge, Isaac's been using his Windows 10 PC, and again, a total of 5 hours, 46 minutes. And then on his Galaxy Note 8, which is a new device that we've recently set up, he's only spent 13 minutes. But if you click on the down arrow for each of the apps, it just gives you that insight to the device that they've been using and the time spent on the apps. Now we move on to web browsing. So it's really easy and simple. It just gives you a list of sites that your children have been visiting, how many times they've visited it, as well as the time that they visited the site. And this also gives you an opportunity to have that conversation and block the site if it is not appropriate for your child. By clicking on the arrow to the left of each website, this will provide you with a URL, which will allow you to directly connect to the website just for that reassurance. So searches will just provide you with a list of things that your child has been searching for on the internet. And these are all active links. And finally, screen time. So you're presented with a nice graph which just highlights the how much screen time Isaac has had throughout the week and the various devices he's been using. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this how-to guide useful. For more how-to guides, please visit www.netangel.org. And don't forget to subscribe and like and share our videos.